Here's the plating procedure for 3M Petri Film E. coli coliform count plates that feature a foam dam to contain the inoculum. Label the plate and place it on a flat surface. Then, attach a tip to your pipetter. We're demonstrating with 3M's 1 milliliter electronic pipetter and tips, a pre-programmed instrument for diluting and pipetting onto 3M Petri Film plates. Draw one milliliter of sample into the pipetter. Then, lift the top film and hold the pipetter perpendicular to the 3M Petri film plate. Pipette the sample onto the center of the bottom film. Carefully roll the top film down to avoid entrapping air bubbles. Pick up the appropriate spreader with the flat side down and place it on the top of the film over the inoculum. Then, gently apply pressure on the center of the spreader to distribute the inoculum over the entire circular area. Do not twist or slide the spreader. Lift the spreader and allow one minute for the gel to form. Now, let's talk about incubation. Incubate 3M Petri Film E. coli coliform count plates with the clear film side up in stacks of up to 20. The temperature of the incubator and the amount of incubation time needed will vary depending on which method you're using. Refer to the product's package instructions for specific information available on our website. The next step in microbial testing is interpretation. The indicator dye in 3M Petri Film E. coli coliform count plates colors colonies red, and the top film traps gas produced by coliforms. Count red colonies associated with gas bubbles as coliforms. Red colonies not associated with gas are not counted as coliforms. Do not count colonies that appear in the foam dam because they're removed from the selective influence of the medium. In addition to the components of the 3M Petri Film coliform count plate, the 3M Petri Film E. coli coliform count plate contains a glucuronidase indicator dye which forms a blue precipitate around the E. coli colonies. The top film traps gas produced by E. coli. Count the blue colonies associated with gas bubbles as E. coli. The total coliform count plate is determined by counting all red and blue colonies associated with gas bubbles. Good lighting is necessary for accurate counting. An illuminated magnifier and a hand tally may help for counting bacterial colonies. The preferable counting range for the 3M Petri Film E. coli coliform count plate is up to 150 colonies per plate. For counts over 150 colonies, you can estimate the count. To do this, first count the total colonies in one or more representative squares and determine the average number per square. Multiply that number by 20, which is the inoculated area of the plate. The result is your estimated count. With each type of 3M Petri Film plate, an interpretation guide with reminders for use is provided to guide you through storage, sample preparation, pH adjustment, plating, incubation, and interpretation of your test results. 3M Food Safety also provides an automated 3M Petri Film plate reader, which provides for more consistency and reliability in your counting. In addition to product sampling, 3M's full line of Petri Film plates can also be used for environmental testing. With a full line of 3M Petri film plates, 3M Food Safety provides more solutions to help you save labor time, reduce costs, and support the reliability of your quality assurance efforts. And when you use 3M Petri film plates and other 3M Food Safety products, you have a reliable partner for your technical and customer services. For answers to your questions, to order literature, or for more information on how 3M Food Safety can help increase lab efficiency in your facility, please contact us at 1-800-328-6553 or visit our website at www.3m.com forward slash food safety.